Hello friends. Now in feedback amplifier, let us talk about the next topology that is the voltage shunt feedback amplifier topology. This is the voltage shunt feedback amplifier using BJT. Uh, you can see here we are taking the output signal from the collector current and we are having a resistance which is feedback between collector current and input terminal that is base terminal here. So this is feedback resistance. Now when you take the feedback signal from the output terminal itself that is called voltage sampling. So this is volt example of voltage sampling. Here we have mixing of two current. One current coming from source and another current is in this circuit which is feedback current. So that is called current mixing. So voltage shunt feedback amplifier is example of voltage sampling and current mixing. When we have the output signal which is a voltage signal, in that case uh, when output signal is voltage signal, the sampling is voltage sampling and when it is we have we are tapping the current from the input circuit so that is called current mixing this is very simple circuit so this is the identification what are what are the steps let us talk about the step first we will be identifying the topology identification of identification of topology of feedback so identification of topology of feedback here it is very much clear that this is voltage shunt feedback amplifier fine so let us talk about feedback factor beta uh, feedback factor beta is what that is the ratio of feedback signal which is current signal here to output voltage which is which is v naught fine so if you see from here to here what is this voltage that is vbe so you can see the feedback current if is equal to this voltage vbe minus output voltage by rf or this is if equal to minus v naught minus vbe by rf but v naught is normally much much greater than vbe therefore feedback current is approximately equal to minus v naught therefore you can take v naught minus vbe approximately equal to v naught fine so this gives minus v naught upon rf so feedback factor beta is the feedback signal if upon output signal v naught that is equal to what minus that is what minus 1 by rf that is the feedback factor beta fine so what we have obtained we have identified the topology of the feedback and remember this is very very important circuit from examination point of view we have lot of questions from this circuit in engineering services, prelims, mains, gate, all the exams. So this is very important circuit for exams. Fine. So we have identified the feedback factor beta. Now you can see from this circuit, if you talk about AC signal, so I in, I am neglecting this capacitor, assuming it to be short circuit for AC signal. So that will be Vs minus VBE divided by Vs minus VBE divided by RS that is approximately again the source voltage is much much greater than VBE therefore Vs minus VBE can be approximately to be Vs so I in is equal to Vs upon RS right so this is what you have i in is equal to vs upon rs so 
here input current in terms of input voltage so what is vs vs is equal to rs multiplied by input current that is approximated expression fine i can find this also you can see from here if say this is equation number this is equation number one say this is equation number two first of all we have 10 beta here i'm going for, for further analysis we will try to find out the voltage gain of this amplifier you have many questions of this on this amplifier as such in in as such when you talk about the feedback amplifier output signal is voltage so input signal is what voltage or current it depends upon the you know uh, when you talk about feedback amplifier when you th there is mixing of current we will consider input current as uh, the sorry current as the input signal i repeat please understand this is voltage shunt feedback amplifier so in voltage and feedback amplifier voltage is the output signal and current is the input signal so for this circuit as far as analysis is concerned when output signal is voltage and input signal is current we find the trans resistance gain of the amplifier for analysis of the amplifier from feedback amplifier point of view but it is an amplifier so i may have to find the voltage gain as well so in that case, I will be considering output signal as voltage, input signal as voltage. But that analysis is not based on the feedback am amplifier. Uh, you know, we don't find uh, the uh, voltage gain by using the concepts of feedback amplifier, like feedback factor, like, you know, forward path gain and so on. We, we, we will not apply that concept for finding the voltage gain. So I'm trying to find the voltage gain of this amplifier, which is very important from examination point of view. You have a lot of questions from that. So we, I'm trying to modify the equation. Up to this point, I was trying to find the feedback factor. So I'm mixing the two points here. I'm trying to find out the voltage gain of this amplifier. One, without using the concepts of feedback. Two, I have obtained the feedback factor, but when I'm finding the feedback factor, I am considering output signal as voltage and input signal as current. Here it is a voltage source so we will try to convert it to a current source. How can I convert? You please see that. I can convert. So before I convert that source, let us find the voltage gain first. Now let us see this feedback amplifier. What is feedback current here? Uh, from equation 1, if you see from equation 1, what is feedback current please see it carefully here this is base current if you apply kcl here so input current is what if you apply kcl at this point input current is sum of this current and this current so input current is sum of base current plus feedback current fine so I'll, I'll rewrite it input current i is for sum of base current and feedback current but feedback current ib is much much smaller than if that's in micro ampere so ii can be approximately taken to be if so see this equation so that means from first we have I equal to our approximate equal to minus V naught by RF, right? So say this is equation number third. So, so from second and third, from second and third, what do we get? Input current that is minus V naught by RF <laughs> is equal to this. That is Vs by Rs or that gives voltage gain Vs equal to V naught upon Vs and you can please see that that is minus Rf by Rs. This is very very important expression as far as exam is concerned. You have lot of questions from this formula. 
So for feedback amplifier, I can remember the expression of the voltage gain directly. That is minus of RF by RS, minus of RF by RS. That's it. Do remember this expression if you can. Fine. Second thing. We have obtained the feedback factor, which is, I'll, I'll write it here so that I can use whenever it is required. That is minus 1 by RF. Beta for this circuit, we have already solved that, right? So we have obtained the voltage gain of this amplifier. So you have, I repeat, you have a lot of numericals on this circuit where you may have to find the voltage gain of the amplifier. So you can use this formula directly to find the voltage gain of the amplifier. Fine. Now, what is the gain of the amplifier, this amplifier for, uh, from feedback amplifier point of view? Output signal is voltage, input signal is current. So, the gain of this amplifier directly if you see the circuit, that is Rm, that is called trans resistance gain. When, uh, when output signal is voltage, input signal is current, the gain of the amplifier is called trans resistance gain. So if you find the gain from this circuit itself, that is gain of the amplifier with feedback. And that is V0 upon I in. Fine. So we know what is V0 and we know what is I in. So uh, from here, what I find, you can see that I in is what? Vs upon Rs. So I will try to give you the expression directly that is trans resistance gain V0 upon R, R I. Uh, that is from here what we have obtained you see this equation. So from equation third you can see V0 upon I n is what that is equal to minus R F. So this is trans resistance gain with feedback approximately minus rf this is approximate expression i am writing it directly i am not finding the amplifier in uh, input circuit of the amplifier without feedback loading i am not finding the output circuit of the amplifier without feedback loading i am not replacing bjt by its small signal i am finding it directly so that's why i am saying trans resistance gain with feedback because I am finding the gain from this circuit directly but that's approximate expression but we will try to find the gain of this amplifier with the procedure where we have to find the input circuit without feedback loading output circuit without feedback loading and then go for small signal analysis that is the actual procedure of finding the gain of the amplifier fine so let us see how to find that gain. So first part is over that is voltage gain of this amplifier is nothing but minus RF by RS. I am just writing voltage gain of this amplifier is minus RF by RS separately right. Now let us see how to identify the input circuit without feedback loading and output circuit for without feedback loading. For identification of output circuit without feedback loading, what do we do? Let us talk about input circuit first. For identification of input circuit for without feedback loading, put output voltage equal to zero for voltage sampling. It is voltage sampling here. So when you put it to the ground, when you put it to the ground, so there are two paths for the current input current. One is this and second is through this to the ground. So I can connect this circuit, this resistance of feedback path directly to the ground here because I am taking it to the ground from here. So this is the circuit without feedback loading. Input circuit, this side, input circuit without feedback loading. Fine. Now I have to find output circuit without feedback loading. I will draw it again. So for identification of output circuit without feedback loading, this is plus VCC, RL. So for identification of output circuit without feedback loading, this was input circuit. So I will just remove it again and I connect here. 
fine. I am now identifying the output circuit without feedback loading. For identification of output circuit without feedback loading, for series mixing, put input for series mixing. I am repeating. For it is series mixing, put input current source equal to input current equal to zero, and for shunt mixing, put input voltage equal to zero, and that is this point. When you in, when you talk about input, it is source voltage. It is input voltage from here to here. So connect it to the ground directly. And when you connect it to the ground, this is the output circuit of the amplifier. This from collector side and go to the emitter. This is output circuit. So the current which was uh, coming from collector side will be going through this side and through this side to the ground. So I can connect this R F on output side and you can see you have removed this circuit this resistance and that is connected on the output side so i will redraw the circuit neatly i you just see on input side the circuit without feedback loading is we have resistance connected between base and collector sorry base and ground and on, on output side Resistance is connected between collector and ground. So this is the circuit where we have identified this circuit as the input circuit without feedback loading. We have identified this circuit as the output circuit without feedback loading. Fine. Now let us go for small signal analysis. So for small signal analysis, replace coupling capacitor by short circuit. Replace voltage source by VCC by ground and replace BJT by its small signal model like this. We have, I will be taking approximate H parameter model, but it is your choice. You can take any of the parameter models. So H F E into I B, this is base current, right? So this is H I E or I will redraw it. I have R S here. I have Vs, then I have Rf, then I have Hie, right, all are connected to ground, then we have, you know, the voltage current, uh, current dependent current source, this is base current, this is I in, Fine. Then I have resistance RF connected between this is ground. So RF and then I have the load resistance RL and this is output voltage terminal. So this is load current where that is I naught. Fine. This is the circuit which is redrawn here. This is RS. But remember here we are talking about the input signal as current source. So I will replace this voltage source by current source. How can I replace? This will be cut up, become current source, divide Vs by Rs and connect it in parallel. That is nothing but voltage source, current source to voltage source, sorry, voltage source to current source conversion. V to I conversion. Replace that, connect the resistance in parallel and divide that voltage by resistance. So that becomes current source. So this is what? Supply current now, I S. This is supply current, this is I in. But we will be talking about I in only. Fine. This is I in. Now, input resistance of this circuit. You can PC. If you see from this side, you are taking the effect of the source resistance as well. Fine. And this is what? Maybe Ri dash. That is without source resistance. So first of all, what is Ri dash? That is nothing but Rf in parallel with Hie. And what is Ri? That is Rs in parallel with Ri dash. So this is input resistance without feedback. Fine. Second, 
uh, I'll talk about voltage gain first, then we will talk about output resistance, voltage gain. But do we need to find voltage gain? No. Output signal is voltage, input signal is current because it is a trans resistance amplifier. Now what I am trying to do is, I am trying to find out the gain of the amplifier without feedback loading. This is the circuit without feedback loading, this is the circuit without feedback loading. So now I am using the concept of feedback amplifier. So I will be talking about trans resistance gain, not the voltage gain. Of course you can find the voltage gain as well but from that circuit not from this circuit. This is the feedback circuit without feedback loading. Do remember that point. Fine. So here, uh, not voltage gain. I will be talking about trans resistance gain. How to find trans resistance gain? What is the output voltage? Please see. I, I have to find output voltage in terms of input current. So what is the output voltage? V0. See it carefully. V0 is this current will be passing through this the both of these resistances. So what will be current here? I naught will be equal to RF divided by RF plus RL multiplied by HFE into IB with minus sign. Why? Because this current is going up, output current is coming down. Current in this is what? This resistance divided by sum of two. That is current divider rule. I have applied current divider rule, nothing else. Fine. So that is output voltage. But I have to find base current in terms of what? Input current. This is input current. This is source current. So I am trying to find everything in terms of input current. Fine. So the base current IB is equal to what? That is current in this path in terms of I in is what? That is again current divider rule. Current in this will be RS, RF divided by RF plus HIE that is current divider rule multiplied by input current. So the output voltage in terms of input current will be minus RF by RF plus RL into RF uh, by RF plus HIE multiplied by HFE into IB. I in, not IB now, into I in. So what is the voltage gain, uh, the trans resistance gain without feedback? That will be trans resistance gain without feedback. Fine. So that is V naught upon I in. You can find in terms of source supply, uh, source voltage, uh, source current as well, but I am trying to find without the source current. Fine. So this is equal to uh, I am trying to find out without uh, source resistance. Fine. So this is minus RF square into HIE, HFE divided by RF plus RL multiplied by RF plus HIE. I hope the concept is clear. So we have obtained trans resistance gain without feedback. We have obtained input resistance without feedback. Now we will try to find the output resistance of the amplifier. Output resistance. How to find output resistance? For identification of output resistance, open the terminals of load. Open the terminals of load and find the resistance seen from the output side. That is the procedure. Fine. So when you open the terminals of load and find the resistance, one, put, replace input source by open circuit. If it is current source, replace it by open circuit. And had it been a voltage source, voltage source was what? In that case, it has to be replaced by the short circuit. So if it is a voltage source, replace it by short circuit. If it is a current source, replace it by open circuit. Since we have already converted that voltage source to the what? current source, so I will replace input by open circuit. Now, since this current is zero, supply current is zero, so this input current will be zero. If input current is zero, base current will be zero. When base current is zero, this current source becomes zero. And when this current source is zero, so that current source behaves like an open circuit. So what will be the resistance seen from the output side? RF only. 
So output resistance of the amplifier without feedback loading R0 is equal to RF. That's it. This is very simple. Fine. So this way we have obtained the trans resistance gain of the feedback loading and output resistance of the amplifier without feedback loading. What else? We need to find input resistance of the amplifier with feedback loading and that is what? Input resistance with, the, with feedback loading or input resistance with feedback. It is what type of mixing? Shunt mixing. In shunt mixing, input resistance decreases. In series mixing, output resistance increases. So, input resistance with feedback will be input resistance without feedback divided by 1 plus Rm into beta or that is nothing but this factor is known as desensitivity. That's it. Rm you have already obtained, beta you have already obtained. I have already written that beta here. Beta was what? Minus 1 by Rf. You can put the, these expressions here to find your input resistance with feedback. Similarly, output resistance with feedback. It is which type of sampling? Voltage sampling. Voltage sampling is also known as shunt sampling. And in the case of shunt sampling, output resistance decreases. So it will be again this similar expression. And you have no, that is R0 you know, and Rm you know, beta you know. So you can find output resistance with feedback. Then gain of the amplifier, trans resistance gain of the amplifier with feedback is this and that is given by Rm by 1 plus Rm into beta. You know what is Rm, you know what is beta. By putting these values here, you can find the different parameters of the amplifier. This circuit is very important for engineering services mains, civil services mains, gate exam, engineering services prelims exam. So uh, please follow the steps and follow the procedure I have given you there. There was one small example based on this in gate also. So let us see the example. This is the circuit given to you which is again a feedback amplifier, which is a voltage shunt feedback amplifier. So here I have to find voltage VCE under this condition, voltage VCE, fine. So under when voltage, uh, we have to find voltage VCE, what will be the procedure? The procedure is simple, this is simple biasing circuit now. So uh, what is this collector current? I C. This is I B. So this is collector current. Sorry, current say I. This is feedback current I B. You have to find biasing voltage. So for biasing signals, capacitor behaves like open circuit. Biasing for biasing signal. You have to find V C Q. That is biasing voltage V C E. So you know. What is this current? This current becomes minus. This was feedback current. So current I is nothing but IC plus IB. That is IC plus IB. So now what is I, IC? IC is beta into IB plus IB. So this gives I is equal to 1 plus beta into IB. And you know what is beta? That is 60. So 60 into IB, 61 IB. We have obtained current I. Fine. So now voltage VBE is given. That is 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.7. So if you apply KVL in base circuit, so what do we get? Voltage VCC minus say this is RC, this is RF. So VCC minus I into RC minus IB, that is this will be base current coming like this, this is base current. So minus IB into RF minus VBE equal to zero. And you know what is current I? So you know what is VCC? So 12 minus 61 IB into RC is what? 1 kilo ohm. 
and minus IB RF is what 53 kilo ohm that is equal to this if I am taking this uh, I am not writing K here that means I am taking considering base current in milliampere so base current will be in milliampere so IB will be equal to and minus 0 0.7 that is VB that is equal to 0 so IB will be 12 minus 0 0.7 divided by 61 plus 5.3 that many milliamperes and that value of base current is will be 11.3 divided by uh, this is IB into 53 so this is IB into 53 so that's one get that gives you 4114 that is base current so from here you can find collector current so collector current is what or from here you can find uh, current I that is 61 into 11.3 by 114 that many milliamperes now base current is in milliamperes why because I have not taken K here fine now again apply KVL in out, uh, output circuit so from collector circuit what do we get from the collector circuit I get VCC minus I into RC minus VCE equal to 0 so VCE is VCC minus I into RC that is 12 minus I is 61 into 11.3 by 114 RC is in kilo ohms and this is milliampere so simply multiply by 1 so that is VCE and that VCE comes out to be the value of that VCE is that is 60 uh, that is approximately 6 volt you can just calculate that fine so this is first part of the circuit second we had to find uh, this is first second we had to find the voltage gain of this circuit voltage gain of the circuit and you know voltage gain of this circuit is what minus RF by RS if you remember the formula that will be much easier fine so this is minus 53 by 5.3 K you can write K here and that is minus 10 so that is your voltage gain fine this was one question which appeared in gate but you will find many questions based on this circuit so this is important circuit try to go through this circuit seriously and try to remember the formulas directly if you can fine so this is all about voltage shunt feedback amplifier and now we are left with uh, one uh, amplifier that is current shunt feedback amplifier that is just uh, you know uh, just for a discussion you don't have questions from that circuit so in next video i'll be discussing current shunt feedback amplifiers